Duesenberg is a German company, and I've been doing stuff with them for, I guess, five years now. But this is a signature model, and it's, if you can see this, it's a 40th anniversary celebration for the Heartbreakers 40th anniversary tour. And so they made, I think, only four of these. It's kind of got a green color to it. And uh, we're going to auction these four off. They've all been signed by the band for the Tazzy Fund, which is a dog rescue organization I'm involved with. It's so well engineered. I've been using it on the tour. I play on about half the show I've been using this now. And I mean, for me to like a new guitar says a lot because I'm a real vintage snob, you know. I only play guitars from the 50s and 60s usually because those are the ones that sound best to me. But this one hangs in there. It's kind of a tone between a Gibson and a Fender. It's in the middle, a little beefier, but clear, but it'll really crunch. One of the best things I like about it is the vibrato spring. When, when they made it, I said, make sure the spring is broken in and feels like you've been playing it. Because sometimes you get a new guitar and you try to do it, and it's like, you know. And this one's real fluid. You know, it remind, I have an old white Falcon that has the same kind of vibrato. Yeah, we're going to auction the four off and hope to raise a lot of money for the dogs. A Tazzy Fund is a dog rescue charity. It's all 100% volunteer. It was started about 12 years ago. My wife and I joined about eight years ago because we're into dogs a lot. And what it does is it helps people who have dogs that have special needs. They need surgery or they have a, and they need a new home or whatever. And they bring them to the Tazzy Fund and we give them money for the surgery or help place their dog in a good foster home, stuff like that. And uh, there's a lot of great stories. This one dog recently I just read about, his name is Echo. And he was at a shelter and they were gonna euthanize him. And he, he had some genetic problem with his back legs, so they had to take his legs off. And we paid for that, took him out of the shelter, paid for that and got him a little wheelchair for his back legs. And he's happy as a clam now. He just runs around on his front feet. And uh, the other thing that we try to do, uh, we, like the last couple of years, I, I kind of urge them to get more involved with uh, veterans. And I know right now we have two dogs that we're fostering for a couple of military people that have to go do a tour of duty. And they didn't want to give their dog up and they didn't have any idea what to do. So we were helping them out when they get back, they can have their dog back. And also we try to, if you know, guys come in with uh, PTSD, we try to place the friend with them, you know, a dog to help get them back on track. And that's what dogs do, you know. <laughs>